In this video, we're going to show how you can create an invoice using Canva. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. So let's jump into this. On the dashboard of Canva, you can click on the templates. So the templates section will give you a variety of different kinds of content that you can create within Canva. So at the top of the page, we can see that the content is broken up by category and each of these categories are seen if we scroll down this template page. So we can create a variety of different types of content. And in this case, we can see everything from uh, Instagram to resumes to all sorts of kinds of content. If we go to the more section at the top right, we can browse across each of these categories. And of course, the category we're looking for in this video is invoices. So let's click on the invoices category. And this will give us more than three and a half thousand different templates for invoices. So you can see there that we have lots and lots of invoices to choose from. So there are all kinds of different designs in here and you can select the category at the top to filter this down further. So I'll just choose the freelance option just to give you an idea of what's in here. And you can see there are a number of different color schemes and layouts but most of them follow the same kind of table structure. So we will just choose one that we are happy with and then we'll go ahead and edit afterwards. So if you see a little crown at the bottom right of the template, that means that it is a professional uh, Canva Pro account you need in order to edit and use that invoice. But we are just going to use one of the free ones in this video now, if you do want to get the Canva Pro and access everything, and I honestly think it's actually quite a good deal, you can check out the link in the description for that. But editing this invoice, we've got a very simple layout for this invoice, very simple color scheme. Um, I'm just gonna remove this text at the top left, and you can add your own logo here. Simply because you can do that by going to the upload section and uploading your own logo as an image file. Uh, in this case, we can modify the date um, and any other details on this invoice. So I'm gonna change the date to the day on which I'm recording this video. And then we can set our own name in here, uh, address and things like that. And then of course at the bottom you can set your own payment terms or any additional thank you messages you want to leave. Now these are just all text fields, so you can drag them and change the font style or the font size, uh, even the, the font face that we're using, the type of font. Um, but I'm just gonna keep with this design and just add some dummy details here and extend this text box out to the right of the page. And you can also change some of the values on this table, so if you have a you know, a very specific thing you want to say here, then you can just put it under the item description and change the prices. Now, the one thing to note here is that if you're modifying this table, in which of course you will be if you're adding your own invoice, but each of these values, you will have to manually change them. So nothing here updates. So if you change the quantity, the values do not change here. They stay the same. Um, so we'd have to manually change this to be $1,000 in this case. So two times 500 is 1,000. And then you'd also have to change the value at the bottom of the invoice because this is just a you know, text value. Nothing is happening behind the scenes here. We're just modifying a template layout. So once you have that done, then we can click on the share button on the top right, and then we will go to the download button. And at this point, the default is a PNG image, but if you're doing an invoice, you want to be saving it out as a PDF. So you can choose between the, between the standard one or the print, uh, PDF print, so that makes it even smaller size. And in this case, you can choose things like the crop marks or the bleed marks. Now, normally that's not really required, but um, I'm just testing it out on this video. So this is downloading the PDF now, and then we will have a look once it is finished. So it looks like this is finished now. So once we open this up, and you can see that the design is very much like what we've seen a moment ago. Everything looks correct here. You can see the bleed marks in the top right uh, corner, the, the all four corners of the page. But in the case of a regular PDF, uh, you're probably not gonna need those, but I was just testing it out. So everything else looks good on this PDF. Um, 
In terms of design, very easy to modify an invoice here and do all of these things. So hopefully you guys have found this helpful. And um, one other thing I want to show in this video is if you want to actually create a more complex invoice or invoices that you can save and send to your clients and use as templates and all the rest of it, you may want to check out Invoice Gold, which is a uh, service I run. Um, so you can create your own quotations, your own invoices, and these are dynamic invoices. So when you change the value of the quantity or the price, it will automatically update within the system. So maybe something you want to check out if you are creating invoices for your business. So make sure to check out the link in the description if you want to try out Invoice Gold. So other than that, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in the next video.